Okay, what we're looking at here is the D16 spindle on a baby axle saw. And uh, let's check the runout of the taper. That is a 10 thousandths reading compact indicator and it's showing two 10 thousandths runout. Okay, let's go over to the Monarch 10 double eight. Okay, we've got a one ten thousandths reading test indicator, a compact brand on the taper of a Monarch 10 double E D13 spindle nose. And I think you can see that okay. Let's start rotating this and see where we're at. Let's make sure this thing works. Yeah, it's working. Okay, let's start rotating it. Oh, there we go. Now that's one ten thousandth rating. I hope you can see that. Let's get it. In, let's get the needle in a different spot. Hey, it went right on a number. How much run out you think that is? Each little space is a hundred millionths of an inch. And we put this test indicator on the face, on the taper, and it reads the same. <laughs> okay. Now I want to tell you about uh, another thing. The uh, Axelson over there with its two ten thousandths run out on the taper produces parts more round than two ten thousandths it's better than one tenth now that's called rotational accuracy this is called spindle notes run out rotational accuracy is uh, the roundness of the part produced Okay, let's get on to Machine Tool Market Watch. Special Monarch 10 Double E Edition with an odd tool room lay thrown in. Okay, here we go. Now this is an interesting uh, 10 Double E here and uh, I'll show you a few things about it. Again, I apologize for the flickering, but I haven't figured out how to fix it. This, <laughs> I don't have the best equipment, that's for sure. Okay. Or the best knowledge on digital junk. Okay, here's a Monarch 10 E tool room lathe. $5,000 in California under Inland Empire, wherever that is in California. Paris. <laughs> okay okay this is an, an x nasa machine here i want to show you something interesting that you should be aware of when you're looking at one of these now the door here is the disconnect switch there's um a compartment here called the electronic compartment and that's where the vacuum tubes would be three of them this is a module drive and module drives have a wider base and they have a door right here. OK, and then this big wide door and then the switch located to the left indicates that it's tube driven. If the switch is moved over in a couple of different positions, but not on that left edge, it is an electronic drive with no vacuum tubes. Okay, so this is a vacuum tube drive, and we can look and see what's in there. There we go. Uh, they're not showing the date. There's the serial number of it. Electric lead screw reverser. Has a tape attachment. Um, three window headstock. Now, the later ones will just have one window down here. That's oil circulating. That's like, like mine. It's, uh, these with three windows are fine, but um, 
the uh, uh, later is better. Okay? You can tell uh, from the inch metric, uh, the inch only has these two levers here, and it's got a window here, and the metric does not. Okay. Now, got a flash of rust on it a little bit. It, it doesn't look real bad. Okay, here's the problem. Now, this is not Monarch here, and this uh, era would not have any of these circuit boards. And it looks like it's a replacement uh, all-electronic drive. It might have field weakening, but one of the problems here is fixing that when stuff goes wrong. Okay. It says it runs. It's not a Monarch because, uh, see, there's the magic box there. I don't know how good it is. But I likely not uh, jump on that one. Okay, I just thought it would be neat to go over that and show you a non-stock drive. Okay. We're proud to have the uh, exhaust stack as our sponsor for today's show. Now, keep in mind, limited offer is eight bucks for extension hose and you can vacuum your entire house out with your car sitting in the garage. Okay, now back to machine tool market watch number three. Monarch 10 E Special Edition. Okay, here we go. Hmm. I don't know. These, uh, this thing's going to flicker, but that's the way it is. I can't figure it out. Look what you missed out on. That is an inch metric Monarch 10 E. Got the handle. Disconnect left side of the door. It's a module drive. Probably sometime between 1979 and 1983. Not only did you miss that one. Where's that? You missed this one. There's another one. $34.99, $3,500. They kind of got that chopped up. There's no extra pictures here. Look at that. What happens when you click on it? Uh oh. Oh. When you snooze, you lose. Now, see, if I was actively looking for this, I probably would have got at least one of them. Okay, so sorry. Okay, here on the uh, Seattle Craigslist is a, a rare tool room lathe. We called it the Sydney George Jetson. <laughs> it's, a it's a variable speed ma machine. I don't know what the drive is. There's one of these where I worked at one point and it never ran hardly. Sometimes it did, they fiddled with it. It features the George Jetson up here. You have to look at the Seattle's Craigslist to get a good view. I'm just guiding you along. Don't cry about the flickering pictures. Up on the top here is the tachometer kind of sticking up and then the apron is actually sloped with George Jetson controls and how much is this <laughs> 9,500 bucks and <laughs> good maybe somebody will buy something like that but it's it's pretty cool but they're they're very very rare and i think this is the last attempt at it too 
it's a tool room lathe, but it's 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 pretty weird. That sloped apron is pretty cool. You ought to check it. You ought to check it out. There's uh, only two photos of this thing here. Let's see. They show the back of it. Okay. Back with machine tool market watch. Don here. Glad to host machine tool market watch for this evening. But I thought you might find it interesting to uh, see the difference between a tool making lathe and an engine lathe for spindle run out. But there's a lot more to it than that. And to make something like this happen, you have to understand that it's extremely costly. Very expensive. And all the other things on uh, a machine like this is just about the same caliber, too. Okay, so you're taking your chances out there in the wild like that. But if you need a machine like this, you got to go to the factory or get lucky, find a good machine tool dealer. But when you're buying stuff in the wild, you're taking your chances. Okay, you guys have a good one, and I will be back.